I hereby resign from service as maiden. House. seeing you like this. You're not well. You were sweating and shaking all night, and, and now there you are locked in your workshop as usual. This whole tortured artist nonsense has got to stop. It's not like I'm some drunkard. I know how to handle my liquor. Mince mice, junky, crunchy, carcasses, starving me out, constantly sick. All I asked for was an edible meal, at least one that had any taste at all. This is my house. You can't keep locking me in. You're so afraid of fire. How can you cut off the means of escape? Suddenly, everything I find relaxing is a fire hazard. Here are the calculations you asked for. You need to also include the cost of lamps for every room. I don't care how much it costs. She's afraid of fire. We will have electricity, and that is that. Let's talk about the symbolic aspects of your work. I'd rather not. Why is that? A symbolism is a word that gets thrown around a lot, usually when people don't really know what to make of you. Uh, the worst question you could possibly ask me is, what did you mean by that? If it was that simple, I wouldn't have painted it. I would have just told you. Of course, we can talk in general about themes that have always inspired me. Duality, conflict. I think that all art revolves around some sort of struggle. Whether or not we're able to see it, of course, is, is an entirely different matter.
Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one more. Oh, don't make me beg. It's been a while. It took me six months to be able to hold a pen again. Six long and painful months. But I finally did it. It still hurts, but the pain is just bearable enough for me to jot down a few lines. Oh, the things we take for granted. Wow, that's deep. I think I better rest some more before I put ancient philosophers to shame. I mean, I've seen you in my house so many times, and yet I could never find the courage to face you directly. Not until now. Lice, mice, bald, bloody spots, hair, not mine. Where are the scissors? Oh, stop looking at me like that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work, that's all. Nothing. They're getting smart. said it would be nice to have a cat so the baby could have someone to play with? Well, I just bought us a dog. <laughs> Aww. I always loved painting blood. Is this the right door for you? Canvas crawlers, massive pulsating fur, poison to paint. Fire, final solution. You always wanted to have a huge garden. Green calmed your nerves, you said. Is this the right door for me? Since my last letter, things only got worse. Yesterday, a stool broke underneath me. My cup stuck to a kitchen table. We need new servants. But these people are so lazy. It's like nobody wants to work anymore.
ass up today. I'm resigning from work at this house. I think I don't have to explain my reasons. You know how life in this house looks. If I could give you some advice, think about being more understanding and a bit nicer to future servants. I thought it would be harder. It should be harder. Bones shouldn't break so easily. This house is absolutely amazing. But those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. The only thing that could make her smile. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw boiled it, then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. <laughs> 